Well, look at that. Banana wine coming on a treat. Clips from that later. But I'm in a good mood today, people. My boss has gone away for two weeks to the Caribbean. And so, that was a terrible accent. And so in honour of him, we are brewing up a pineapple wine. Let's get on with it. So that's it, we're in the kitchen. Uh, as you've seen, the banana wine is coming on a treat. In fact, I'm just going to play some clips now uh, to show you how the fermentation sort of started out. Here we go then. It's 12 hours into the fermentation, look at it. It's already starting to foam up. The airlock's starting to go and uh, it's not particularly warm in the house. I'm gonna get the fire lit tonight and get it, get it um, warmed up. But yeah, look at that. And here we have it, 24 hours on. Just look at that. Good foamy top. The yeast is really, uh, really starting to work. And just look how it's moving um, the wine about. Some, some vigorous fermentation happening in there, the airlock's going like mad. I just like to give it a bit of a swirl round every day just to um, make sure the yeast is not settling to the bottom and it's all mixed up. So that's it, just a bit of an update on that banana wine. That's 24 hours after pitching the yeast. So yeah, it's going well. Um, it's warmed up a bit now, now I've had the fire lit. It's, it's doing really well actually, it's fermenting great. So I thought let's get another one banged out while we're at it. Let's fill the brew room back up and uh, like I said the boss has gone away, Caribbean, uh, going on about pina coladas all day long, we're all sick to death of him. Uh, but it did give me a good idea and that's to make a wine out of pineapples. So I uh, actually got a new book which I'll show you in another film. Um, but the recipe is out of there. So let's have a look at what we need and uh, then we'll get started. You'll need four pineapples for this. You'll need your yeast nutrients, some citric acid, um, your yeast which is in the fridge, got to get it out, and a kilogram of sugar. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the pineapples cut up, we're going to boil them up for half an hour, strain the liquid into this bucket, uh, same as we did with the um, bananas, we're going to add the kilogram of sugar uh, and then when it's cooled down we're going to add the citric acid, the uh, yeast nutrient, some clear ease or uh, clear zyme, pitch the yeast and then we're going to leave it in the bucket for, I do believe it's a week it sits in there and then when it's done most of its fermentation in there we then rack it from there into a demijohn top it up with cold water to the full gallon and let it ferment out so let's crack on with it so that's it we've sliced the uh, pineapples up got them in a pot and it asks for um, a third of a gallon of water to boil them in and they're going to be boiled for about 25-30 minutes. Uh, topped and tailed them like it said. Uh, left the skin on. Didn't say to remove it so kept it on. Just put the last little bits in. And then we'll get to uh, boiling. Uh, looks like a tropical island. Right then. To the pan. So yeah maybe I needed a bigger pan. Uh, who cares? This is the pan I'm, I'm using, so I'm gonna have to just make do. But uh, it's full to the brim. So I've just started the uh, gas up, and uh, we'll see how they boil down. Hopefully, they'll boil down a bit. But uh, but yeah, when we get into a boil, I'll uh, I'll show you what's happening. So anyway, while that's uh, coming up to a boil. Max is going to read you the, uh, the instructions to this pineapple wine from this book. Um, so top and tail the pineapples, then slice them into a one gallon saucepan and cover with a third of the water. 
bring to a boil, then simmer for 25 minutes, strain onto the sugar in a fermentation bin and add the remaining two thirds of the water. Uh, that's got to be cold. Add the citric acid, which is two teaspoons. Stir well to dissolve the sugar and leave to cool to blood heat. So 20, you know, 21, 22 degrees for the uh, yeast. Uh, then add the yeast, the wine yeast, and the yeast nutrients. Um, don't actually say how much, just a teaspoon I'd use. Uh, then it says to cover the bin for a week and leave it in a warm place. Give a daily stir and then transfer to fermenting jars or bottles, so the demijohn, uh, which should be filled to the bottom of the neck and fitted with an airlock. Keeping temperatures of about 15 degrees Celsius until the wine begins to clear and has thrown a substantial sediment. Then siphon off into clean jars and then add a crushed Cabden tablet and a level teaspoon full of potassium sorbate. Um, allow it to throw a fresh sediment and then siphon it off into clean bottles and cork. This is a delicious light wine and a delightful bouquet to it. So that's it and it says pineapple wine in brackets sweet. So we'll see if that's, uh, that's right. Let's catch up with these. Okay so as you can see we're just just about breaking into a simmer and uh, I've not took any out of this pan, uh, but they've sort of gone down. They must be turned into a mush underneath, and and it's sort of like cooking cabbage. You get a good panful, and it looks too much, but when it starts to boil, it goes to nothing. So, so if you were thinking what I was thinking, which is I've got too much too much pineapple in this pan, uh, just wait till it starts uh, heating up, and it'll hopefully do what this is doing and break break down and get it all in the water right so we've reached the boil uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the heat and uh, let it simmer for 25 minutes I'm going to set the timer and uh, then when that's happened and it's done it's simmering I'm going to put it into the fermentation bucket add the sugar the rest of the cold water to make up a gallon Add the citric acid, uh, nutrients, and the yeast, and uh, and that's it. Well, that sounds completion. It's been simmering now for 25 minutes. Let me turn that off. There we go. It's been simmering now for uh, for 25 minutes and uh, I've actually tasted the sort of liquor that it's produced and it's it's really sweet super super sweet um, so yeah it is going to be a sweet wine because we're adding uh, extra sugar to it so let's get this strained let's get it cooled down and let's add the rest of the stuff so into the bucket it goes I'm gonna gather this up now and uh, drain it off and see what we've got don't forget we've added the sugar already to the bucket. Now whether you can see that it's like a goldeny colour liquor that it's produced. So I'm just going to let this drain, I'm going to hold it because there shouldn't be too much because it's not, uh, the fruits haven't broken down too much. Stir the sugars in, uh, add the citric acid, the rest of the water and cool it down ready to pitch the yeast. Of the uh, bag of uh, pineapple, it's left us with a 
thicker than what I was expecting, sort of pineapple juice. Um, I'm going to get the sugar dissolved and then uh, add the citric acid. Top it up to um, a gallon. Uh, let it cool down, pitch the yeast like I said. Take a hydrometer reading this time and see how strong it's going to be. So, topped it up now, cold water. Just going to put two uh, teaspoons of this in. Let me get it set up. There we go. I've already put one in. There's a the second one going in. That's it. Now we're going to cool it down. Ready for the yeast. So yeah, the sugar's all dissolved now. Uh, I've added the uh, citric acid as you've seen. Uh, just got it in a water bath now. Just cooling it down uh, so we can pitch as yeast. Um, but it's it's created quite a um, quite a dark um, liquor. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be as dark as that because when it was boiling up it didn't look to be uh, imparting much colour but there you go it has so when it's cooled down I'm going to do a hydrometer reading on it and then pitch the yeast right so that's it now we're at temperature 21 degrees celsius uh, let's go ahead and take a hydrometer reading and um, see what the starting gravity is. Right, so I've just uh, dragged a sample and put it into this, uh, I don't know, hydrometer vessel, little test tube. And I don't know if you can see that, if it's uh, picking it up. But we're actually at uh, 1.088. Okay, so we're ready now for the uh, for the wine yeast. Just use about a teaspoon and just uh, sprinkle it in. I put a touch more in. Uh, I'm just going to now give it a stir. Uh, put the lid on it. And, uh, and that is it, we'll leave it for a week and then do the second part to the video which is transferring it into a demijohn. So there she goes, let's get her covered up. Not going to put an airlock on it because it doesn't ask to. Uh, so you can either put a lid on a bucket or drape a tea towel over it. Uh, I think they call it actually um, aerobatic fermentation which is to um, take a stage of fermentation where air is present. Uh, so that's it. Let's get this in the brew room, a bit nice and warm up there. Like I said, leave it for a week, stir it every day and after that rack it into the demijohn with an airlock and let it ferment out. So that's it, hope you've enjoyed it, uh, let me know what you think, leave your comments and questions below as always, and don't forget to subscribe, uh, come and join the party, uh, join this uh, fantastic brew tube society uh, if you're new to the brewing world. So that's it guys, stay tuned, got a Chewing the Trub uh, video coming up soon, and uh, update on the banana wine when it's done fermenting. Cheers!